We are Sila and Casper, and in this video we are visiting the incredible Pitvitsu waterfall in Croatia. Good morning from beautiful and warm Sela. We are heading off to the Plitvici waterfall that is known to be the crown jewel of all of Croatia. And did you know they have the tallest waterfall in all of Croatia too? Really? Yeah. I've read that they have 90 waterfalls, more than 90 actually. Really? Yeah. It's gonna be great. I think it would be hot. hot. Very hot. <laughs> See you on Plitvici waterfall. After almost two hours, we have arrived at the Plitvici waterfalls. There are many ways to get here. You can. Rent a car, or you can take one of the many organized bus tours. So it's super relaxing just to sit back and enjoy the ride to the Pivici waterfalls. We are looking to find the right path to see both the upper lakes and the lower lakes. Here at the National Park you find many different routes you can take. Today we are going for Route H from the Entrance 2 and it's about 9 hours walk. So now we are here at the Entrance 2 and then we are going for the Black Route all the way down here with a train or bus. We are convinced that when you pay for the entrance, you should definitely visit both the upper and the lower lakes. When you leave the starting camp, a bus will take you to the beginning of your trail. There are a lot of buses going to different trails, but they are all numbered with where they are going. These areas are full of frogs. And if you listen carefully, I think you can hear them. We really think there will be an amazing experience when in Croatia, no matter if you're a family, a couple or elderly, because they have many different routes out here. So you can both take a route for three kilometers or 18 kilometers, and you can take the ferries or small boats, I think it is, and the shuttle buses. So yeah, it's a great experience for everyone. We did a lot of research before going to Plitvici, but as beautiful as photos can be, they are nothing compared to how incredible this entire park is in person. This is so scenic. There's so many waterfalls. Silly, what do you think? I love it. You love it. It's crazy. Wow. And at the same time, we are practicing. This is totally for balance. Wow. Oh my God. I think it's been raining a lot the past couple of days. So there's quite a bit of rain and water at the path. Should we go dancing in the water? <laughs> When you have walked the first part of your trail, a boat will connect you with the next step of your journey. The boat ride is quite refreshing and will take you to an area where you can have some food and fill up your water bottles before hiking on to the last part of your hike. When you leave the boat, you have the option to buy some food and enjoy the pleasant weather here out in the beautiful nature before you hit the trail again. So, should you go to Plitvici waterfalls? Definitely. Especially if you are in the Sadar region, it's only a couple of hours drive from there. But if you're anywhere in Croatia, we highly recommend you to visit this beautiful place. I would already love to go back. It's so, so beautiful. In next week, we are visiting Alcantara in Spain and the weather forecast is saying sun, 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 sun and sun. more sun. I can't wait to see what Alcantara has to offer. So if you want to see our next video, check in next Monday when we are posting from Alicante. We are posting every week so stay tuned in here and until next time, safe travels. travels.